Hey, morning friends. Happy Saturday. It's Sam from Merrill Magna Fishing and Metal Detecting. I'm back out here at <coughs> my metal detecting permission. Looks like the farmer did get the herbicide down because all those chickweeds dead. Um, so this morning, I'm going to hit this area over here again. This is where we found the coins. Today, I'm going to run this away and then i'm going to go back over to where i found that gold button and that 36 caliber pistol bullet last well the 36 was last week but as you can see up here uh it's kind of ominous looking um i just checked the weather a little bit ago and they're calling between uh i think it's like nine or ten o'clock they're calling for like a 40 some percent chance of rain so that's why i'm going to kind of stick by here in case it does rain you know worst case i'll just throw my stuff in my jeep and just hang out <clears throat> uh, i don't think it's supposed to rain that long but i'm out here by myself today uh both cat Marin and keith have got plans um yeah i'm not feeling too hot my my stomach's kind of bothering me but i wanted to get out here today because might be the last time and i know i've said that a couple times before uh <clears throat> excuse me what i'm gonna do is just hit the farmer up uh probably wednesday and you know just ask him hey can i come down next saturday but uh lucked out uh coming across the bay bridge i saw a sign that there was an accident on route 50 and i was able to dog leg off and avoid that so really didn't add much you know time to my my commute or my commute my um ride over here but uh let me get this gopro on and hopefully i can find some i'd like to find some silver coins we found probably uh 10 11 copper coins and it's just funny that we haven't found any silvers yet you know at least a, a dime or a, a a quarter so let me get this on um just nice distraction being here because just finished my second week of work you may have noticed that i look a lot more presentable uh i went and had my hair and my beard trimmed up because we have to wear uh <clears throat> those blue surgical masks at work and they were just really mucking with my beard. I don't know if you can see on here. I bought a Mind Lab 20 pinpointer. Uh, I bought this little mount, but you can see it's not real sturdy. So, hmm, let's see what we got here. I was looking at getting the the mine lab 30 but nobody had them and i just want this uh sort of a backup i got my garrett carrot i don't i think that's gonna be iron So anyhow, let me get it to this. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of iron blips in here. Yeah, I mean, we need the rain because that'll help with the... Uh, they got some rain in here yesterday. I think we got rain twice this week. <laughs> Excuse me, but that'll help. Number one, knock the pollen down and soften this ground up get the conductivity up higher problem is with this trashy area here it's gonna really play hell with the detector so i know cat Marin went down this week to visit his grandfather and there's a gentleman his grandfather knows owns a bunch of property and one of the pieces happens to be a old schoolhouse that dates to like 1850 and both Cap Marin's 
grandfather and father went to school there. So he's never been able to catch the guy home. So he left a note, had his contact info on there. So hopefully he'll hear back so we can get some alternate places. I mean, the only other place we have here, we've got, I forgot where this place was, the spot. I've got the field or the woods over there. Oh, yeah, soil's a lot easier. Um, and I really don't feel like messing around in that woods because it's just loaded with deer. And I don't feel like getting Lyme's disease, so... All right, and the plug, 15. Hopefully it's... In this section. Now let's see. thing is not like my Garrett where it just turns right on standby out here This thing just takes a little time to turn on, I guess. Yep, what I thought. Piece of a freaking shotgun hole. Okay. Well, junkie find of the days. I had a feeling that's what it was because that's what they come up as 15s, but. Plus side, one less one to worry about being in the ground. But yeah, I'm just really surprised that I haven't come across any silver coin. it yep damn yep now it damn can't slow the heck is this oh you gotta be kidding me this thing's small. Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, this is little. I don't know what this is. If it's, I think it might be. I got to go back and get my little rag to wipe stuff off. I'm thinking this might be part of a 
remnants of a base of a shotgun shell. <laughs> yeah, I had a little rag that I kept tied on here that could wipe stuff off. I'm betting that's what that crap that's gonna be. Saw a piece of iron in here. Yep, look. What the heck is this thing? What the heck is this thing? Uh. Hmm. This is a. Uh, who knows what. That's weird. I have no clue what this thing is. <sighs> Great. Yeah, I'd go put my rain park on. Okay, here it is. It's in here. I think. Oh, look at this. Yep. So that's another big molten blob of brass or copper. <laughs> well, that was worth it. Yeah. I found so many of these just in this little vicinity here. Shoot, it actually looks like it's kind of slacking off. I might just stay then. Uh, but yeah, that's... Man, it's got some weight to it also. So I'm just wondering if like the house was here and when they wanted to reclaim the area for the field, they just burnt the house. <coughs> Because I've seen very, very few brick bats here. Now that other field over there found quite a few of them. So who knows. But I don't know if it's brass or copper. I might just take one of them pieces and polish it up to see. I mean, I found, it's probably about the fourth, fourth or fifth piece I found, which a couple of them are quite big. But one of them I actually looked at and it had uh, like holes in it. So I have no clue what in the heck that thing was. It looks like it's another piece like that buckle I found part of that buckle I found earlier uh, yeah that's and it stopped pretty much yeah it almost looks like it'll fit let's look at them same width and everything that's kind of weird so let's get a picture of you <sighs> what the heck? yeah 
another one of these little pretty sure it's another little molten blob of copper let's see something here yeah that's it might be silver Another big glob. Yep. And this is some strange stuff here, boy. <clears throat> but yeah, I was getting all kind of weird, choppy, junky signals, and I'd get this. See if there's anything else here. I mean, it's got some weight to it. got some copper on it though that's weird yep I have no clue what this is it's gonna be one of the unknown gizzies yeah that was definitely coming up as copper so but uh, let's see down here. I'm going to go over to the stool. See if we can figure out what this thing is. Let's see. 
crap out of all eat that, damn it. Wonderful. Let's see. It's definitely gonna go and I have no freaking clue column I mean it's not that heavy yeah it's not too darn heavy man that's weird yeah I have no clue if this is probably just another weird molten piece of metal but or melted I mean but from what that's the weird thing that is the big fifty sixty four thousand dollar question what did this come from A copper, I think. <sighs> yeah, I just got so much stuff sitting at home that's that's soaking that I have no clue what it is. this man I think it's coming another big blob of molten copper maybe or oh, melted I don't know why I keep saying molten <clears throat> Known what this thing is, it just man. Let's see what you come up as again. Nineteen. Shh. 
Jeez. <clears throat> A little small piece of copper. Just a little dang. I don't know what this is. Some melted silver, I think. <sighs> what does the thing ring up as? small piece of copper <sighs> yeah it's just a little dang I don't know what this is Some melted silver, I think. <sighs> what does the thing ring up as? I see it. Damn. A big old piece of copper here. Yeah, that's all twisted up. I don't know what this is off of. Jeez. So I figured. Jeez. I saw that and I was like, oh man, I found some gold. Freaking shotgun holes, because the blind is right over to my right shoulder. I can't make out if this is a high or low brass shell. 
I know I'm gonna jinx myself now, but surprised I haven't found no can slaw yet. That's maybe just not in the area where they threw their, their empties. Son of a gun. <laughs> and I did jinx myself. It's a pull tab. Ugh. Jeez. There it is. What the heck? Hmm. Another unknown. Jeez, that's a piece of old piece of lead, I do believe. A couple weeks ago, I found this rock that first time I looked at it, I was like, oh my God, I found a human molar. I mean, it freaked me out. And then I looked at it again, it's like, nah, it's just plain old piece of rock but it was it was pretty freaky it's like what the hell are you kidding me son of a bitch I think it's a freaking slug damn it god <clears throat> well Okay, friends, I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I managed to get about six hours in and I'm just wiped. Um, so I'll show you the stuff that's been pretty good, I think. Uh, this strip of copper, I gotta soak it. These are two big blobs of, I guess it's molten brass. Uh, this, I think, might be part of a shotgun hull and I got some stuff that I think might be melted <coughs> excuse me might melted uh, silver and that's what I think this is I have no clue what the heck this gizmo is um, here's I think part of buckle maybe I, I really don't know um, and then this thing this rang up like like silver uh, I think this is a modern shotgun slug. This, I think, is part of a, uh, a horse nail. Um, there's a little piece of pottery. And then the can slaw and shotgun holes and rocks and stuff. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new, please let me know how you found the channel. Uh, leave a like button. If you want to see something or if you don't like something, you know, let me know. Because at the end of the day, I can't make any corrective actions unless I hear from you guys. Um, I say this every single video, but I'm doing this for you guys. Um, you know, for people who can't get out or maybe you're thinking about doing metal detecting. That's who I'm doing it for. But if you notice, my video is a little longer, but I show the crap along with the treasures. I'm not going to be like some people and just show nothing but pulling out gold coins, silver coins, you know, or old uh, colonial copper coins. That ain't how it works. Um, you know, the bulk of the stuff you find is crap. And that's what I want people to see. That, you know, it's, you got to do your research though. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off before the battery dies. I might get this uploaded tonight. I really don't know because my back. It's starting to give me fits. Uh, I'm going to run the, the seat warmers all the way home. That should help. But if not, I'll get it uploaded tomorrow morning. Um, I don't know if I'll be coming back out here again next Saturday. Uh, if not, I'm going to start trying to find some new spots to go magnet fishing. Uh, that'll be a whole new adventure there. So anyhow, enjoy the rest of your day and thank you.